Hey everyone, it's Benny here, and in this video, we're gonna <coughs> build the first part of our GPU. So, we're not gonna do anything fancy, we're just gonna set up the fill X and fill Y commands, because I I don't want to get into the most complicated things possible first, I want to start simple, and the fill X and, y and fill Y commands are probably the simplest parts of this. So, first off, let's look at the fill X and fill Y commands. Okay, what, how are they gonna do? Essentially what we're going to do is we have these a set of wires like this and we're going to have a control wire and I'm going to pretend is right here. So now I'll be able to select two of these and if the control wire is zero then it's, it's going to do the magic and then they'll just come out exactly like they were before. But if the control wire is on it's going to pass through all of the wires both of those wires and all the wires in between them whether they're on or they're off. And of course, if they're back off, it's going to go back. So that's essentially what we want to do in the fill X and fill Y system. So, this will be interesting because it requires some interaction between the different parts. They don't exactly just tile perfectly, but we'll go over that in a second. So, first off, I'm going to invert it because inverting it's going to be really important. And oh yes, I did dig out the space. It's two this way, three up, and nine long. And I'm just going to pass it, a um, just pass the power down. And this is going to give me one copy of it, it downwards. I'm also going to get it from above. So now I have two copies of whatever I pass in, one on the top and one on the bottom. And since I have less space on the bottom, I'm just gonna do this. Now, now the bottom is just passing the information straight through. So that's the very first function of <coughs> of, of the G e fill command already done. Next thing we want to do is we want to set it up so that we can do the filling system, the one that actually selects all the pieces in between. The way we're going to do this is a really interesting system. We're going to do it through an AND gate. So, oh, I'll show you how that works in just a second, but right now we're just going to build it. So I'm going to invert it and uninvert it again, because they need to be exactly the same. I'm going to put a repeater between there, because I need it going into both ends. And now I'm going to pass it up. Or not going to pass it up, I'm going to set up the AND wire. And there's the output of the AND gate. And right now this should just turn straight on, because it's the only thing interacting with it. And yeah, it does. That's good. So now I'm going to invert it, and I'm going to have to uninvert it again. And uninvert it. And right here I'm going to set up the control wire. And this is how it's going to work. So if I power this, it's going to send power straight through. If I send power to this, then it's going to let the power through the big AND system. And um, that's about everything. So. This is the basis of the system setup. So now we need to deal with how do we handle knowing when other wires are on and dealing with all that. I set up an example right here. In the first input of these, we set select the first one, and the second one, we select the second one. So right now it's just passing both of those through, nothing special. Select this one, it's selecting all of them. It's all of them. And so there's just a quick example of how this works. And here's how it really works. It does this sort of data collision system. So, oh, there'll be a bunch of boxes for the AND gates. These will be all the inputs to the AND gates. And for input 1, it's just going to pass the information straight through. And I'm going to put torches on top. And in case you didn't know, that repeater's already passing the system through both of them, so we don't have to worry about complicated Oh, how do we handle if it's in the wrong order and stuff? So here's how this works. If I, since these wires are all collective repeaters, if I power one, everything to the, le ooh, the left of it's going to turn off. This one, everything to the right of it. And you notice that there's only going to be e one set of wires where both of them turn off. And those are all the wires in between them. That's the whole reason this works. So we just plug those into an AND gate, like that one. And that's just going to get us the output. So 
it's a little bit of an odd way of thinking of it, but hopefully it's not too complicated. And I know that explanation is rather simple, but I want this to be more of a, hey, this is how you build a GPU, rather than, here's a five-hour explanation of, of all the inner workings of GPU functionality. And I'm just going to put repeaters here. And if you do want the big explanation of how all this works, check out my Designing a Minecraft Computer series. It's going to have all this information in there. So all we need, really, is these two things. And this is our GPU done. Or not the GPU done, but <laughs> we're very far from that but the system for the filling command setup. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this, select here, and I'm going to select here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the stack command, and I'm going to get s 7. Boom. And now if I break this extra stuff that I it's kind of in the way now. There we go. So now we have it it basically set up for the X command. Or either X or Y. I'm gonna say this is the X command just because. Why not? So now Let's test it out. And I'm just going to put some extra wiring on the end. And... yeah, here we go. Pass one, pass two. So right now it's just passing it straight through, whatever it is. And when I select the control wire, it gives me everything in between it. And that's exactly what we want. So this is how the filling system works. And I'd like to give a big thanks to Lawrence Wayne for designing this and allowing me to use it. He's one person who made the Red Game and the Red Game 2 and all that stuff. If you don't know about him, you should check him out. He's pretty cool. And, yeah. So I think I'm going to make this the Y command. So in my system, there's two setups between this. And I already have one of these loaded in World Edit, I think. Yeah, I do. Except... It's sort of facing the other direction. But that's okay. So now here's one. This is going to be the version for the X command. And I'm going to do the selection system again. So go all the way up. Select. And select. And stack, seven, boom. So, now I can break these. This is where our command wires are going to go, in case you didn't know. So, almost done, setting up all the wires. I know it's... And the reason I'm doing seven is because there's going to be eight bits of these. And if all goes well, this should be for X and Y, except it's slightly offset. Now, at this point, I hopefully you know how to do that. Hopefully you didn't make that mistake in the first place, so I'm just going to fix that off camera. So let's test it. There it is, going through. Send power. Boom, get everything in the middle. Alright, well, that's how you do the fill X and fill Y system. I hope you enjoyed, and in the next video, well, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to build next, but we're going to keep building this. So thank you. See you in the next video.